Okay, sorry, I'm in the process of gluing this on. I used um, Fabri-Tac because I wanted quick, quick results, and this stuff holds pretty, pretty well. So I laid this down, folded it up flat, and then glued it onto the edge. And I can move it because it's not quite dried yet. I can move it a little bit. And I laid it down so I could get it even. I'm not sure I did a good job with that, but at least now, you know, I can open this ugh, from the paint and the stickiness of the, of the ATG stuff, which I will have to take out and glue with glue so that doesn't happen again. So there's that part. There's the front cover. And see, I glued it completely flat. And then what I will do is I will take more paper and I will cover this up with something else so that it doesn't look so ugly. All right, now I'm gonna do the back side. And I don't have very much here, so I think what I need to do is get an extension of paper, glue it onto the back here so that when I glue it here, it's not going to come undone. I probably should extend it out a little bit further here so it gives it a little more stability. Then what I'll do is I'll line it up with the back with the accordion and that'll be it. So that when you open it, it will be like this. Okay. Alrighty then. Let me go and find myself a piece of cardstock in my spare cardstock drawer and then I will put the extension on here and we will glue. Be right back. This one won't work because this has got to wrap all the way around this way. I need a longer piece of cardstock. So we have this. I'm going to lay this right here. I don't want it quite over the thing. And I'm going to take a pencil. <laughs> I was going to take a pencil. Seriously? <laughs> There was a pencil on the desk when I started. <laughs> oh, good gracious. Really? <laughs> there it is. Holy moly. All right, so I'm going to run the pencil down here, and then I'll go and cut, cut this on the cutter. I'm going to 
paper cutter and run my, my uh, I'm either going to call this a piano wire. I don't know if that's what it is. Run that down there. Let's see how this is going to work. Put, the, put this on the front and it'll slide on. And this will fold. side and this will go down like this I'm gonna need to do a crease there and a crease at the bottom because it's gonna be a little wonky because one side is remember one side it is fatter than the other so I'm gonna need to kind of even it out just a tad and then I think what I will do is I will paint the green and the blue like I did before with the watercolor. Then I will be able to put the house here and put trees on either side of the house. And that way I can slip it off. I could do a skinnier band Hmm. If I do it skinnier and cut it, glue it, paint it and glue it, I can kind of leave this thick here and leave that thick up there and cut the house out. That way you can see the trees. <gasps> Bingo! Got it. Okay. See, the thing is about doing all this is I, I'm, I have no pre preconceived notion I did for this, but I have no preconceived notions for this now. I love the way it turned out. I'm very happy with it. Um, and so, you know, this mistake here is okay. Not a big deal. I can take care of that on the insides. And it won't be any big deal to have it done that way. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and paint this, this section. I may need to... Well, I should paint it first, then I'll crease it. Then I will cut around, I'll glue the house on where I want the house to be. And I will um, kind of fussy, I'll leave a little bit of lawn down here at the bottom, a little bit of sky at the top, because I can kind of tell where it bent. And then I will fussy cut around the house, not that far. I will do the sides of the house. <laughs> And then you can see the trees that are these two right here. That's the theory. We shall see if this works. I'll be back. Okay, so I painted the blue and the green all the way down because I figured that it would look nice on the back in case I get silly and put a house on the back of the belly band, which I don't think I will, but just in case, better safe than sorry. And I'm going to take one of these stylist, the proper size ball on the end, which would probably be this one. And I'm going to score where the book goes. I think at the bottom I would do, I think this is an, is this a quarter of an inch? Yeah, it's a quarter of an inch at the bottom. Gonna fold it and see how well that does with the bottom of the book. Not well. It really squeezes the daylights out of that book, doesn't it? Because one end is thicker than the other, it makes it a little harder to. guesstimate what the width should be. I think I should make the top maybe see how it goes slanted at the bottom this way. 
sorry about the light. If I do it too much, you're going to be blinded. Not enough. You can't see diddly. Is that better? There you go. Um, I think maybe I'm going to need a half an inch, not a quarter. So I'm going to redo the bottom here to make it a half inch. Four and one. Wrong side. Four and one half. On the top, I'm going to do the same way. I'm going to do it a half inch because I think it needs the space for the accordion. What I like about this little board is that this little bone folder goes with this board. Yeah, put it here like this. I never leave it that way, but I like that it, I like that it slides on and off. But since I store my board upright and I'm constantly moving stuff around, I put this inside a pencil holder because I'm going to lose it one of these days. This one I think goes with the, yep, this one says Martha Stewart. So this one goes with the Martha Stewart board, the big one that I used. And then I bought a bone folder all its own and it didn't look this bad. I decorated it and over the years, the paint and everything has worn off of it. Okay, so let's see what we have here. The dogs are start. Oop, the dogs are getting restless. I'm gonna hear moaning and groaning that I have to go outside. That's not bad. Look at that. Awesome. All right, I'm going to glue this on the back. I'm going to stop this and let the dogs out. Otherwise, I'll get no peace. <laughs> I'll glue this. Then I'll come back and I will glue the house on. And I will do the little trees for the house. And I maybe... I'm wondering if I could do this. I might cut this off and just put this in the back here. Let me look around on this mess that I call a desk and see if I have... Oh, look! Eh! Okay, so I don't have to draw anything else. I'll just cut those out and glue those on. Yes! Yes! Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, um, what I'm doing now is I cut out the ones where I painted it green and blue. The water the water, the sky, <laughs> the ground, and decided that I don't really want to cut out more houses. I have these. They're scraps. They will work perfectly for what I want them to do, which is to be background to something else that is not a feature. And yes, the house is blue like the sky, and the house is also green like the grass, but frankly, I don't care because what I'm more focused on is what this looks like. That is just backdrop. That stuff is just backdrop. So I'm going to glue these on with wet glue. I didn't want to use the Fabri-Tac because it smells bad. All right, I'm going to glue this one here. Got to put them even. And it doesn't matter that part of this house is missing because he's on the edge anyway. And it doesn't matter that part of this house, it doesn't matter that they're not perfect houses because they're gonna be covered up anyway. So they'll be like cityscape, you know, they'll be background noise. Then I'm gonna take this one and glue this one here and there we got that silly chimney again. You know what? Let me rip him off. Executive decision. There we go. Put him in the middle, kind of. Oh, his stove pipe is a little bent. Put him in the middle and then probably do two trees here and call it a day. As a matter of fact, let us glue now while we're with all our fa thinking faculties and not getting super duper creative and going a more crazy on the design because I never intended it for this to be this complicated or fiddly. Right, so we're gonna put him a little lower than the houses in the background 
so they can look like another street, like they're on another street, even though I didn't do any sidewalks. And did I draw some other trees here? I did. Where did I put them? This is one, and I don't like this tree. I need to paint it. I'm not really wild about this tree, but one less I have to draw, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, I tell you what. I need to go draw two trees for here and here, and then I'll be back yet. Whoops. I need to draw two trees for here and here, and then I'll be back again. Okay. Um, this is what I decided to do. I took cardstock that I had left over and I painted the green and the blue like I've done through the rest of it, you know, all this stuff. And I glued it on the proper side. Thank goodness, because I was thinking I did it the wrong way. Oh, oof. Okay. Uh, so I cut two that were like this. I glued this one on and it is glued over the where this piece joins together and I did scoot it up a little bit away from the joint so that it won't interfere with it closing on the first this first little fold right here I don't want it to interfere in opening and closing so I went ahead and scooted it out just a hair so it wouldn't snag on anything here and now I've done the back side the same way I painted it exactly the same and I know what I'm going to do I'm not going to stamp anything on here because I actually took one of the stamps out of my house stamp packs, stamp sets, and thought maybe I would stamp it. And then I decided, you know what, I really don't want to do that. Let me scoot this off just a hair. Just a skosh. So that... It doesn't interfere with opening and closing. And we've covered up where our marks work and we continue with the grass in the sky. And then I'm going to put more houses and trees. So that means I gotta draw some more. As much as I don't really wanna do it, I will. And so I'm going to take and put trees and houses glued flat on this flap and on this flap so it gives this continuity with opening and opening and closing so I'll be back after I finish that and I will show you this finished product you're kind of gonna look like you have two scenes together cool huh <laughs> alrighty so that's this part done and I'm not gonna do anything to the back Yes, I should have glued the stuff onto the front, but it doesn't matter at this point. I put so much time into this, I really don't care anymore. <laughs> All right, so I made some more houses and trees for this side. Made houses and trees for this side. So where's the front? This side's the front so that when you open it you see this little house on the front with the trees and when you open it you see more houses and trees and everything has continuity although these on the ends look a little bit bigger than what I drew before the houses seem a little bit bigger but nevertheless, it's still houses and trees, houses and trees. And then we fold it up. And remember, I've got, oops, sorry, <laughs> the house on the back. And the belly band, or I don't know if this is really considered a belly band, but a slider for the front. And it's done after me going on and off and on and off and on and off the camera all day. <laughs> oh, let's see. I started this at about 6.30 this morning. It's 5 till noon. So this is a time-committed project. 
uh, takes a while because of all the fiddly cutting and trying to come up with the plan on the fly. But in the end, I'm very pleased with the results. And if you don't want a band or a slider to go on it, you can just tie a ribbon on it. Don't glue anything on here because if you do, you won't be able to open the book. I learned that the hard way once already. Okay, so we will close up our city. And there you go. Then make a lovely book, like I said, to give to somebody as a gift. Somebody you really like, because this is a lot of hours. <laughs> hey, everyone. I wanted to do one last segment for the Cityscape flag book, because this is it. <laughs> I'm done with this book. I wanted to make sure that I completed the project and did not leave anything hanging. And instead of doing a flip through another time, I'm just going to show the parts that I did extra on this so that we are done with this project already. Um, all right, so you've already seen this. And now there's this. I went ahead and added, and I probably should have made it up a little higher, but I was trying to cover up the seam that was here on the back of the slider part. I went ahead and stamped another house like this one, and then just stamped more of that same house in the background with some black stays on. Colored it with uh, Spectrum Noir alcohol markers, did some Posca pen for the flowers in the window boxes here. These, this was left over. I had an extra tree from when I was gluing them in the body of the book. This was a tree that had a long stem and then, you know, it was up here at the top. And I thought, you know what? I am not drawing one more thing for this. I'm done with this book. So I hacked the tree up, made a small bush here, a small bush here. <laughs> you know, sometimes ideas on the fly actually turn out to go very well. <laughs> Mostly, they just go done. All right, so I did put something on the back even though I said I wasn't going to. Evidently, I lied. <laughs> but I wanted to show you that I did finish the project off, and now it's going to languish on a shelf forever until maybe I give it away to someone who is moving or someone who would appreciate it. I don't know. We'll see. I got to let it... I got to let it mellow for a little while. I just... I'm... Very over the flag book thing. <laughs> well, not the flag book thing, this particular flag book. I estimated there are about 20 to 25 hours in this book. And the reason it took so long is because I couldn't make up my mind. Everything was on the fly. It was kind of a piecemeal project. Oh, one other thing that I did, because I didn't like the white here for the accordion. I went ahead and painted it the green and the blue, sort of like I did on this. Um, my advice to you to speed this process up is when you do this, make sure you paint this before you do the um, scoring. It would make life a whole lot simpler. And maybe you could stamp to give this more continuity, maybe you could stamp more houses on the back side, and then when you look, maybe somebody will look on the back side, you can stretch this out and you can um, have a little scene here from neighborhood to neighborhood. Okay, that's it for me now. I have two more flag books to work on, and then I am done with flag books for a long time. Thanks. Bye.